I am really excited for today's review video. I've been waiting to do this since December. Well, today we're gonna see if Ray's raises the bar on keto cookies. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we try something new, you'll be alerted to it. So back in like November, December, I was on Facebook, which that was my first mistake. Right. And there kept getting an ad popping up for Ray's Cookies. Okay. And a couple people actually messaged us and said, have you tried these? And we had not. So I did go to their website and I started looking at them and I'm like, that looks interesting. And they did look pretty clean. Okay. So I contacted the company and said, hey, we would love to do a review of your cookies and they said, no problem, but we're finishing up some final packaging. So can you hold off until How we get the package? Is this? And while we were in Utah, this box arrived. So that was really nice to come home to. Yep. And this is absolutely adorable. I right? like the box. I mean, just so like retro reminds me of like 50s, 1950s. So I know diner. you didn't really look at their website, but nope. they have two different like kinds of cookies. They have cookies and then they have like stuffed cookies <gasps> and so i believe that that's what this is each one of these you have a what? cookie pack so it's like a variety pack and then this is a cookie sandwich pack so are you ready i'm so ready okay so let's go over what we have first oh my god! we'll start off with the cookies in here there are three uh well six packages two of each flavor wow so we've got two chocolate chip cookies you have two of those, four of those total, so two packages of chocolate chip. Then we have two packages of double chocolate chip, and there's two cookies in each package. And then there is chocolate chip pecan, two packages of them oh with two goodness. cookies in each package. And what do you got? Okay, so each one of these packages has one sandwich cookie in it. So you've got two of the two chip and chocolate peanut butter cookie sandwiches. So uh, wait a second, a peanut butter stuffed chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, basically. That sounds good. And there's two of those in a package. I love peanut butter. This is two cookies of double chocolate and fudge cookie sandwiches. Ooh. Um, and then finally, you've got two of the chocolate chip, pecan, and coffee. Ooh. Cookie sandwiches. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where do we want to start? Wow. Well, do you have like doubles up where you're having like well, the same cookie? Yeah, so you basically have doubles of every. So you want to start off, we'll just go, let's go basic. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie. Okay, so we'll start off with the plain cookies and then we'll finish with the filled cookies. Wow. Okay. okay. This is going to be a good day. I'm going to make sure I don't rip the nutrition label. Okay. We have a lot of cookies to eat. We should probably just eat a little bit. So that's the cookie. It doesn't look huge. It's it's a respectable size. It's like a home-baked size, like Toll House cookie. Baked. Yeah. Okay. So let's just do like a quarter of a cookie each. That sounds good. Okay. Wanna dink it? Dink. Dink. Mmm. Mmm. It's really nice out of the refrigerator. It's good and cold. I like the texture. Mm-hmm. A little bit of a cooling effect. I'm not getting a cooling effect. I'm super sensitive to it though. You are. Here's what I'm going to say the flavor reminds me of. The soft-baked Toll House cookies that you yeah. buy. The, like, the, remember the, the Chips Ahoy mm -hmm. soft-baked one, the red ones. That's what it looks like, and that's what it is. That's definitely, it really tastes just like that. Mm -hmm. I, 
It honestly, to me, does not taste like a keto cookie. You say you get a little bit of cooling effect. A little bit of a cooling effect, but it is like very nice and sweet. Um, we want to do that. Almost like a, like a maple back note. Yeah, so we'll, let's do the pecan one next. Let's do that. Oh Lord. The Rambo knife. Oh wow. Lots, Ooh, that is lots of pieces beautiful. of pecans in there. I love when they're not stingy with the toppings. Okay, you ready? Yeah. It goes all the way through too. Nice. I was gonna we say have a put lot that, of cookies. I was gonna say put that in half because you know I want like there's so much concentrated, like, you know, the goodies. Oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. Dink. Mmm. Oh, I like that one better. I really like that one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like they did more than just add pecans into the chocolate chip cookie. Me though. too. It's got a really good flavor. I don't, like, get the whole cooling effect off that one. Okay. That is delicious. And it's funny, you know, chocolate chip's probably my least favorite. Is it? Yeah. I like, love chocolate it's, chip. It's kind of plain. Like, I like stuff. It's like well, ice cream. I want junk in my ice cream. I want junk in my trunk. Um, yeah, I, but I really like the nuts. Look how pretty. Double the chocolate double chip, chocolate. except for I see white. What is, oh, I, I can't look at nutrition. You gotta just eat it. Okay. You don't even know. There could be a turkey sandwich in there. You don't know. Are those nuts? Are they white chocolate chips? It looks like macadamia nuts almost, it right? It does. Ready? Dink. Dink. Mm. Mm. It's definitely chocolatey. But whatever that white is, I can't pick it out. I can't hear. It's got to be a white chocolate. Okay. You, do we want to move on to the stuffed? Yeah. Kind? That is delicious. Okay. Start again with the... Yeah, start with that one. I really want to, I'm in it on the coffee, yo. Again, try not to rip We should have gotten some coffee to eat with this. Okay, so this is two cookies <gasps> in one. How cute. Okay, we're actually gonna, oh wait, let me show you this. So two cookies stuffed. It looks like an old Little Debbie oatmeal raisin cookie, right? Where it was like the wow, little cookie there, sandwiches. There is a lot of stuffing in there. It's peanut butter, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. There is a lot going on in this. I am getting excited. Again, we have a lot of cookies to eat here. Uh, uh. Dink it. Dink. Dink. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Wow. The layer of peanut butter is as thick as one of the cookies. That ain't cheap peanut butter either. That's like really tasty peanut butter. Mmm. If you ate this whole cookie, it is gonna be filling. Mm-hmm. But again, there's almost like a maple back note to their chocolate chip cookies. There is. Okay, ready? I don't know why. We will find out, probably. Okay, so this is double chocolate fudge and cookie sandwich. This is this is a true Swiss army knife, right? Yeah, look at the amount of fudge that's in there. I mean, it literally is like almost as thick as the cookie. So it's supposed to be fudge in the middle. Yep, let's go ahead and cut it in half. Dink it, dink. Mmm. Hmm. It's good. You sound surprised. It's an interesting flavor. That fudge is different. It's very different. It almost is like heading toward a brand flavor. Right? Yeah. It's not super chocolatey for me. Okay, last one. Chocolate chip and pecan co and coffee cookie sandwich. I am very excited about this one. There you go. 
Okay. That's good. Dink. Dink. Mmm. That one's good. Mm-hmm. It's not an overwhelming coffee flavor, but it's just oh, enough. Oh man, that is good. That's more, oh man, you can taste the milk in the coffee. It's almost, It honestly tastes like a cookie that you dunked into your coffee. Yes, it does. Right? That's so exactly what it tastes like. So it's not like coffee flavor. Mm-hmm. It is definitely like a chocolate chip cookie that's stuffed that's been dunked in coffee so you get that hint of like almost like a mocha kind of flavor. It's a dunked cookie without the sogginess. That is delicious. Okay. That's my favorite. That's your favorite? Mm-hmm. Okay. Five things? Five things. Five things. If you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Okay, we have a lot to go over. Yeah. We'll start off with the plain ones. And I'm sure they're most of them are pretty much the same with the base ingredients. Right. And then we'll just go from there. So I've got the chocolate chip cookie. Ingredients, egg whites. Then we have white star style chocolate, which is cocoa butter, non-GMO corn, soluble corn fiber, whole milk powder, sunflower less than monk fruit extract, natural flavor, and vanilla beans. But those are the ingredients in the white chocolate. Right. So that's really one ingredient. Then you have milk style chocolate, which is unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, whole milk powder, non-GMO soluble corn fiber, sunflower less than monk fruit extract, natural flavor, and vanilla beans. So we're at three ingredients so far. Then we have erythritol, butter, Cream cheese, that's why they've got mm, that. Nice. Almonds, egg yolk, sunflower seed butter, whole eggs, coconut flour, coconut oil, natural flavor, citrus fiber, mm -hmm. and then we have hazelnut, salt, monk fruit extract, xanthan gum, cinnamon, cinnamon, and stevia extract. So they're using several kinds of sweetener. Yeah. Um, what are these at? Okay, so the double chocolate cookie has egg white, the white style chocolate that you mentioned, milk style chocolate that you talked about, erythritol, cream cheese, uh, butter, coconut flour, coconut oil, natural flavor, cocoa, cocoa processed, processed with alkali, citrus fiber, hazelnuts, salt, baking soda, monk fruit extract, xanthan gum, cinnamon, and stevia extract. So yeah, a nice blend of sweeteners. And the chocolate chip pecan is kind of similar, milk style chocolate, so no vanilla style. Erythritol, egg whites, cream cheese, butter, almonds, pecans, egg yolk, natural flavor, whole egg, sunflower seed butter, coconut flour, coconut oil, citrus fiber, hazelnuts, salt, monk fruit extract, xanthan gum, cinnamon, and stevia. Okay, so let's move on to these. Sandwiches. Which I'm sure they're gonna be the same. Yeah. Except for whatever's in the middle. Right. So this is the two chip and chocolate peanut butter. White style chocolate, milk style chocolate, Butter, egg white, erythritol, cream cheese, whole eggs, coconut flour, natural flavor, coconut oil, citrus fiber, hazelnut salt, monk fruit extract, xanthan gum, cinnamon, and stevia extract. Wow. So very similar, just what like what you're saying. It's very similar, similar to the first cookie, but guess what is the added ingredient in the chocolate chip, pecan, and coffee cookie sandwich? Coffee. Coffee. Actual coffee. Wow. Okay, last one. Awesome. This is the the chocolate sandwich. Milk style chocolate, white style chocolate, egg whites, butter, erythritol, cream cheese, almonds, egg yolk, whole eggs, sunflower seed, butter, coconut flour, natural flavor, coconut oil, cocoa, cocoa processed with alkali, citrus fiber, hazelnut salt, baking soda, monk fruit extract, xanthan gum, cinnamon, and stevia extract. These are some clean cookies. Very like clean ingredients. Homemade type ingredients. Yeah. Like, not not that you're going to, because at least, I mean, but you could, if you could figure out the right ratios, make these at home. They're not using wonky ingredients. No. They're using chocolate and ingredients that we can all buy in a store. Real ingredients with names we can say. Number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Where are we starting? Okay, so double chocolate cookie. Is that the cookie or the sandwich? Just the cookie. So here's just the sandwiches, but let's start with the cookies. Um, a cookie is a serving. So you've got two servings in each container. So a cookie, uh -uh. a cookie is a serving, 130 calories, 11 grams of fat, four grams of protein. Whoa, only six, no, 10 grams of total carbs. I'm still pretty impressed with that. That's pretty impressive. 10 total carbs. Um, then they've got five grams of dietary fiber 
And then you got the sugar alcohol game. So if you're doing net carbs, which you shouldn't be, it's gonna be one net carb, but 10 total carbs for a dessert. I'm not upset about that. Okay, so this one is the pecan one and it is 140 calories, 13 grams of fat, nine total carbohydrates, four grams of fiber, three grams of protein, and four sugar alcohol, still making it one net carb. We'll talk about carbs in a minute. Uh, then this last one is the regular chocolate chip, 130 calories, 11 grams of fat, three grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates, five fiber, and four sugar alcohol. And that fiber is like coconut flour. Coconut flour is actually high in fiber. It's high in total carbs. Yeah. Uh, and high in fiber. And then you also have like sunflower seeds. So um, it's not like wonky dietary fiber that they're adding or anything. No. So when we look at the cookie sandwiches, one sandwich is a, um, is a serving, of course, 270 calories, 22 grams of fat, six grams of protein, and 18 total carbs for this giant sandwich. I'm okay. kind of impressed. Uh, chocolate, 260 calories, 21 grams of fat, five grams of protein, 19 total carbohydrates, 11 grams of dietary fiber, and five sugar alcohol. And for my absolute favorite, the chocolate chip pecan and coffee cookie sandwich, 280 calories, 24 grams of fat, five grams of protein, and 17 total carbs. Then uh, nine grams of fiber and five sugar alcohol. Bada bing, bada boom. They're saying three net carbs for this. But again, 17 total carbs won't get you in trouble if you track it that way. Right. Number three, how do they taste? <gasps> so good. I think they're really good. If you're going to ask me what my least favorite is, it's the chocolate. Okay, my least favorite, well, okay. So I was not a huge fan of, yeah, the chocolate. Right. It doesn't taste like super chocolatey to me. Right. It tastes like it's heading towards a bran muffin. I don't know why, but it just, that's how it's I don't get strength. the bran muffin, but what I was looking for, especially after tasting the chocolate chip cookie, thinking like Nestle's Toll House soft baked cookies, I was looking for the chocolate version of that and I'm not getting it. But the other, I think they're all good. Yeah. I'm just, if you ask me what is my least favorite, it would be the chocolate. If you ask me what my most favorite is, it's definitely going to be the that, chocolate the, the chip coffee pecan. stuffed one and then the pecan one and the regular cookies. So they're both the same cookie. So that's clearly our favorite cookie, yeah. which is the chocolate chip pecan. And then when you stuff it with some coffee, hello. Yeah. It's amazing. Number four, how much do they cost? Let's head on over to the website. Cut the carbs, raise the flavor. I like that. Very Everything cute. you've been looking for in a cup. Uh, healthy, delicious, fresh baked, dish delivered nationwide. They have a little comparison chart compared to some of their competition, Tate's Bake Shop, Milk, Lenny and Larry's. Now, I've had those, and sorry, they're disgusting. They're, yeah, these taste they're so just, much better. They're just not good. Even the keto version. They're not comparing it to the keto version, which, guys, you really... Compared to the keto version, uh, you cookies I've had, but talk about fibrous. Like they kind of taste like medicine to me. Um, a little bit about their company. Okay, so let's go over to shop. Variety pack. So this is what we got. So we got the cookie sandwich pack and we got the cookie pack, right? Yes. So $26. We'll click uh, either one is $26. And if you do subscribe and save, it's $22.88. So that's just over two dollars a, a cookie. Wait, okay, so oh yeah, you get four of the two chips. Twelve chip, cookies total. Four chocolate chip pecan and four of the double chocolate. So that's just over two dollars a cookie. That's just, cheaper than just crumble. Just over four dollars a pack for two cookies. Yeah, and that would make the stuffed ones um, right around four dollars, just over four dollars per cookie. But remember, you're getting two cookies. Right. Okay, number five, would we recommend it? Yeah, they're delicious. I would recommend them, but I have a couple things I need to talk about, and this is the only place I can jump in. Now, okay. we are not affiliated with. We make zero money off of this. The only thing that we have is the company sent us the cookies for free when we requested them, but they also have no say in what we're going to say, no. and they don't get to preview this video ahead of time. Right. This is my own opinion, and I'm going to give, if Ray's watches this, I'm gonna give them some recommendations. Okay. Number one, on your website, please compare yourselves to some other keto cookies. Hue, yes, can be keto friendly, but I would like to see you compare yourself to some of the other, without naming names here, um, popular brands of keto cookies that you can buy. Even though they're not fresh baked, I think they're better 
than some of the ones that you're going to find in like Whole Foods and stuff, and they're in the same price range. So yeah. compare yourselves to them. Compare yourselves to Lenny and Larry's keto cookie. I know they have a keto cookie out there. So that's number one. Number two, this is a pet peeve. It doesn't affect whether I would recommend it. It's just a pet peeve. Please don't put two cookies in one package and then tell me that a serving is only one of the two cookies. Yeah, because once I open it, I'm going to want to eat gonna them. I'm going to want to eat them. Um... Now, if you're in our situation, we're each going to eat a cookie. That's good. But if I'm by myself, the other cookie is going to go bad or I'm going to think it's going to go bad or I'm going to convince myself that it's going to go bad and I'm going to eat the second cookie. And then I'm going to be sad and you don't want to have a sad association right. with your cookie. So my... What I would rather see you do, if you're willing to take my recommendation, which I don't know. It's our two cents. It's worth exactly that. Right. Is either individually wrap each one of the regular cookies, which I know would probably raise the cost because of packaging, or just say that a serving is both cookies. Yeah. Because when we get over to the stuffed cookie... You're basically doing that. A serving is two cookies yeah. anyway. We're completely fine with it being like a single serving. And then if they, if someone chooses to put it in half, that's on them. Yeah. So would we recommend it? I, I would absolutely recommend it. I think they're very clean ingredients. Very good ingredients. I think they're priced pretty well. They're right in line with all of the other cookies. But you did want to talk about the total carb, net carb thing. Yeah, I think that it's just going to be really important no matter what keto product that you're utilizing or keto friendly product because there's really no keto product um, that you are tracking total carbs. Like that is going to be your key to success. How do you stay successful on keto? Count total carbs because net carbs isn't really a thing because this is either 17 total carbs to eat this cookie or it is three net carbs. If I am only writing down that I have three net carbs in a day. I can eat two packages. I can eat more than two packages because right. a lot of people will use that like 20 net carbs magic number. Um, and so what would that be? Three, I could eat six cookies and still six double cookies and still be under my net carbs for but the day. But here's the problem with that. If you eat just one of these, that's 22 grams of fat. Right. Okay. And this is what happens with the net carbs. And this is not to be a soapbox, but if you were to eat six of them, you'd be eating over 120 grams of fat, which is... More fat than a lot of people right, want to eat or right in a line, I mean, of where, like, I eat about 150 grams of fat. So if I would do six of these cookies, that would be 270 times six in calories, but we look at grams of fat, and over 120 grams of fat, I don't have any room left for my steak. Right, and, you know... For everybody that's like, I couldn't even possibly finish one cookie. Well, you don't know Rachel, right. okay? So, like, y'all have seen me eat. So, I understand that I am different than a normal human person, but, like, I could absolutely scarf down six cookies. Yeah, I mean, 18 total carbs to me is completely fine, especially because it's two cookies. And if the rest of your diet for the day is meat and eggs... You're good. You're going to be well below 30 total carbohydrates, and you will be good. And especially if you're not eating one every single day. Right. Use this where it's supposed to be. It's a treat, and I think this is really good. Kids' lunch boxes. Yes. This is something that I hope they're still around when Peyton gets older and I can give her a cookie. Here you go. Absolutely. This is going to be better for you, not all the sugar, not all the processed flour, and it's a little treat that she can have. But am I going to give it to her every day? Absolutely not. Well, no. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a little most recent video that I put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we have cookies, you'll be alerted to Until it. Until next time, bye. bye.